Here we go beginning our CO2 car design. Exciting day, we're going to start actually planning what I want our CO2 cars to look like. So our CO2 car design, we went into design and modeling course, clicked on into our assignment, and we found the CO2 car design assignment. When we're all completed with this, we should have a CO2 car on our layout file. It should be the front view, the top view, and the left side view. And we should have our top view cut. These are top view cut. And we should have front view cut. So this is a front view cut. So this is a completed correct assignment. To begin, we're going to start our new car with our new car blank. So we're going to click on this new car blank and download that. It's going to come up. I'm going to open it up in SketchUp. And now I have my car. Across the top here, I have my different scenes. Half car for modeling, full car, front view with x-ray mode so I can see into it. I can actually see the cartridge hole. Top view x-ray mode so I can still see the cartridge hole. Bottom view, which we'll be using to make our top view cut so we can kind of still see that. And ortho printing, which is our three view drawing on our front, our top, and our left side on our car. Full car is just going to give us an isometric view which tells us what the car is going to look like and we're always going to work in half car for modeling. First thing to understand is why this car is built in two halves. In two halves, whatever this half does, this half will automatically do, which will keep it looking symmetric and cut your modeling in half. Anytime we're working, we want to be in half car for modeling. So let's begin here. Our first step is cut our car off to length. So I'm going to click on my half car. Now if I start drawing on this, it's not going to do anything, not going to let me work with anything. So I'm going to right click on it, and I'm going to hit edit component. Now I can start working with this car. So I'm going to switch into front view mode here. If you don't have your toolbars up, just right click in this toolbar area up here, and you want to turn on large tool set, which gives you this one over here. Getting started, which is this top one. Standard, which is this one up here. And views, which is this one over here. So I'm going to go into front view. And I'm going to begin modeling. <coughs> so the first thing I do is cut the car off to length. So I'm going to take the tape measure tool. I don't want to click on an end point like this, just reminding myself, or the origin. I want to get a vertical line, so i got to click on another vertical line. So I'm going to click on the blue axis and bring it over. And this can be anywhere between 200 and 300 millimeters. The blank is 305, 200 is about back in here. Um, the shortest I'd say to design to is 210. It gives you a millimeter of play. So I'm going to say I want to go about here, which is 250. So I'm going to set it there, and then I'm going to type 250. Notice I didn't move my cursor down here. I just typed 250 and then hit the return key. And I should see that move. So if I double check it, oh, it didn't move. Click it, 250, and hit return, and it did move erase what I don't need. I can check it also by using the dimension tool right next to the tape measure tool. Click, click, bring it down 250. Perfect. Now I have to do some cutting. So I need to cut this off. I always go into isometric, but first I have to draw a line. So I go into isometric view to do my cutting and I try to do my push-pull, it doesn't grab either side. This is just a guideline, it's not an actual object line. So I need to divide that face in half. So click the pencil tool and draw a line over the top. And then this has separated this face into two. So I can do a push-pull and push-pull it all the way back. And now I've cut my car off two lengths. You can go, like I said, this number can be anywhere between 210 and 300. 
I like what I got going on here, so I'm going to go back to full car. And now comes the key. We're going to go file. And we're going to go save as, not just save, save as. And I want to name this my hour, my login. And then car design. Because that's what it's being called in Schoology. You're going to go down, you're going to scroll down, you're going to find your login name right here underneath computer. Click on your login, and you should have made an industrial tech folder. I don't have that available to me, so I am going to do my design and modeling, modeling folder here, and hit save. And I got my first step done. Second step, we're going to start with our axle holes. So I'm going to Notice I have to go to half car for modeling again. I'm going to right click, edit component, get inside the model again, and now I'm going to draw my axle holes. So I'm going to go to front view again. Axle holes are six millimeters off the bottom, so I need to know some measurements. So I know I'm going to take the tape measure tool, click the red line, bring it up, type six, and hit enter. And then they have to be between 9 and 50 from the back of the car. A lot of people try to click here and go 9 to 50, and it kind of gives you a funky looking line. I'm going to click up here. 9 is about here, 50 is about here. So anywhere in between here, according to where your design is. So I'm going to start there. I clicked it. It said 32. I don't like weird, weird numbers like that. So I'm just going to type in 30 and hit enter. I'm going to start the front of my car. i got to draw my axle hole here. That's about 18 there, so I'm going to go to 15. I'm going to make it a little bit closer. And that's where my two axle holes are. So notice I clicked my guideline here, moved it over. Now I have to draw my circles. So this is my actual axle hole. This is not a wheel, it's an axle hole. So it's just where the rod goes through. So I'm going to click on the center, then I'm going to click out here, keeping my pencil on this guideline. And then I'm going to type 2 and hit enter. So it's going to give me a 4 millimeter radius. Same thing up here. 2 and hit enter. And now I have my axle hole labeled. Let me erase that dimension. Just get out of my way. Switch it back to isometric. Now isometric, this is kind of where it gets funky a little bit. This axle hole, I'm going to click with the push-pull tool. push pull, click the center, and it doesn't really know where to stop. So I need to click an end point here to tell it where to stop, or I can type 21, because this is 21 millimeters deep. On the back one, click here, it doesn't know where to stop, so I'm going to click this back edge. And I can always check that to see if I have holes in the back, and I do. Now I've made my axle holes. Full car. Check to see what the back looks like. That's looking good. I have doubled my guidelines and all that now. I'm done with guidelines so far. So these dotted lines. So I can file save or click the save button. And now I have my car saved. Moving on, front view cuts, half car for modeling, double click or right click, edit component. Now I'm going to go to front view to make my half car for modeling. And I'm going to use a combination of tools here. I can't cut through the, guy, the cartridge hole, I can't cut underneath the axle holes. So I can't do a cut like this. I can't do a cut like this. Okay. But I have straight lines available to me and I like to do this arc. These other arcs really aren't very effective for what we're trying to do. So let's say I'm going to do a little straight line coming out this way. I'm going to angle it down a little bit. Now I'm going to do an arc. How an arc works is you go start and how much you want it to bend. When it turns blue like that, 
it needs tangent. So it's going to go a smooth line there. Maybe I like that. And then I remember I want to do a rounded front. So I have to touch it all the way out to here. Then I'll do a little bit on the bottom as well. And maybe angle up here a little bit. So that's looking pretty sharp. I like what I'm seeing here. Now it's time to start doing a push pull. So I'm going to go to ISO, push pull, again click here, bring it back to the back wall, and it cuts it off. Click here, bring it back to the back corner, cuts it off. Click here, bring it back to the back corner. Cuts it off. Yes, I'm looking, looking like a nice car now. So I've got a full car. I can see it did it on both halves. I'm going to just do a little bit of cleanup here. Get rid of some guidelines. I don't need this one anymore. I'm almost done with my car. So I hit the save button. Last thing I have to do is the top view cut. So if I look in ortho printing, currently there is I've changed the front view, but I've done nothing to the top view. Yeah, there's a cut here on the top surface, but there's no cuts up here on the sides, angling the sides in. So I'm going to do a rounded off front, and maybe I'll do a little angle in here and curve this out. So I'm going to go to half car for modeling. Right click edit component to get inside and now we're working on the bottom of our car so I'm going to go to bottom view notice it flips your car around here's the co2 cartridge over here that I have to stay away from again if I look here I have a little bit of my axle hole that I can see there a little bit of my axle hole that I can see here So I want to stay away from those two areas as well. Okay. So cartridge hole here, cartridge hole being here, that means I have to stay on this red axis. I cannot cut over here unless I want to cut my fork my car, which, hey, maybe I'll do that. I can't cut through the axle hole on the outside edge of my car, but how about we work with that? So I'm going to make a curved cut on the side over here. To do that, I have to fill this bottom surface back in. So this is where a rectangle comes in play. Fill the bottom back in. Now I can do an arc. Here here, bend it, keep it on the green, making sure not to touch one of those back surfaces or else you're going to get a really odd looking arc. The arc looks dashed, we have a problem. Now I'm going to do a little bit of stuff right here for aerodynamics. This is a sharp corner. I'm going to bring this over. It's kind of hard to see with that blue on blue. And I'm going to bring this over. And that's going to smooth that line out a little bit, just to make it a little bit better for aerodynamics. Then I'm going to do a push-pull. Now comes the trick. So when I push-pull this, it gets stuck at the top. I'm going to flip it around. We have to tap, not hold down, just tap the option key one time. And you'll notice it got a little plus next to the push-pull. Now I can bring this all the way up. Tap, bring it all the way up. And I have a pretty cool looking car now, but it doesn't look anything like I want it to look. So we got to start doing some erasing. So if I just use the eraser and I start erasing away, nothing really happens. It deletes surfaces I don't want. Let's see if it deletes these. 
I need to make these two surfaces cut each other. Sketch